So study this program here. Uh, it's a class called Generic Lists. As you can see, it's a generic class because we've got a T here. And what we're de defining is um, the basic list methods. F um, after we've defined these, all other list uh, functions or methods will be defined in terms of these. So we've got head, which takes an array list of type T and returns T. So what we can see, it returns the zeroth element of, of its parameter, M. Now tail returns the whole list apart from its head. So here tail takes an array list of type T and returns an array list of type T. So we, how does that get defined? We have a, a local variable M, which is an array list, which is a copy of T, the parameter. We remove the head and return M. So M will be the list minus its head, which is called the tail. Now, the third method here simply returns an empty array list. Um, similarly, now here's a very important one, cons. This takes an element of type T, an array list, and constructs a new array list out of that, whose head is this first element T and whose tail is M. So if you like, it sticks T, or it re returns the list which has T at the beginning and whose rest is M. So it's the list whose head is T and whose tail is M. So how do we how do we do that? Well, we have a again we have a, a local array list. We add um, the the first element to k. So now k will just be a singleton list with just this first element here, and then we add the rest of it. So we will have and then we return k. So in other words, we will have returned a list which has got t at the head and m at the tail. Now I've done a couple of examples of how you can um, how you can uh, use those top four functions. Everything can be done in terms of those top four functions. So here's an example how you append two lists together. Um, so append takes a, a list T and a, a list U, and it returns the list consist consisting of T appended to U. So it'll have T at the beginning and U at the end. So if T is empty, so if the first list is empty, we return the second list because there's nothing to append. Otherwise, we construct the list whose head is the head of T, head of the first list, and whose tail is got by appending the tail of the first list onto U. Note this is a recursive function because append is defined in terms of append. Um, so each time we call append, we're calling it on a shorter list. We're taking the tail of the list that we called it before. So eventually this we will call it on an empty list and that will return the other list and that's how we get out of the recursion. And how do we reverse a list? Again, what does reverse a list do? It takes a list and returns a list. And it says if T is empty, return T. So the reverse of an empty list is just the empty list. Otherwise, we reverse the tail of the list, so we reverse the tail of T, and then we append to that the list got by construct by consing the head of T, the head of this list onto the empty list. So in other words, uh, we reverse the tail and st stick the head on the end. So that's how we reverse a list. If the list is empty, we return the empty list. Otherwise, we re reverse the tail and stick the head on the end. Now we could have, instead of writing this, I could have used my nil method up here. Perhaps I should have done, I should have, I could have just said uh, nil, because nil does the same as returning new array list, so it would have been a little bit shorter. I could have put nil um, instead of actually creating a new array list. It would have come to the same thing. Thank you very much.